Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode of Jack of All Trades. Uh, we got a segment for you today on the Buick restoration. We are finally done with the engine. We're gonna take it out today. We have to do a couple uh, hard blasts in it to seat those piston rings. And pretty much the engine's gonna be done. We got some maybe some, some tuning with it to get it up to, to like perfect timing. But other than that, the engine is in and this is a huge hurdle to overcome. Check it out. Got that infamous GS Stage 1 dual snorkel in there. I was lucky enough to find one of those. Uh, it was a big piece. Uh, so anyway, uh, we broke in the cam a couple weeks back. It was a great time, great experience with my son. Uh, my wife even helped. Uh, we learned a lot of stuff. Uh, we, we smoked a starter by accident. That was kind of scary. Uh, we had the timing retarded at first. A huge fireball came out. Okay. But I'll show you a clip of, uh, of that break-in. Uh, we had some problems with the overheat, the engine overheating. Um, as some of you may know, that I already have problems with the radiator. I got the factory Harrison. Uh, so I'm actually going to see how hot it gets when we do these runs. Uh, I believe there will be a video coming up next of us replacing that radiator with, with something brand new. But anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and do a cold start right now. Hopefully the choke's working. It should start right up. Um, I got the timing set kind of kind of at a base right now just to get it on the road uh, Like I said, we're gonna do those blasts get the piston ring seated and we're gonna tune the carb car carb after that and the timing and uh, From there we're gonna start doing the interior Those are the next major things the vinyl top and the restoration process will continue. So check this out out to uh, an industrial area that's getting built up uh, there shouldn't be hardly any traffic out there I know a spot where it's kind of flat and I could probably get it up to 80 or so uh, on, a, on a good pool from 0 to 80 we'll see what that's all about um, I'll put a camera on the, the speedometer and the tachometer I'm kind of curious um, how my shift points are on this car so um, I might end up having to change the governor on it. We'll see. And uh, keep an eye on the temp today too because it's 95 degrees out. So uh, I got to play it real cool with that because uh, my radiator was already kind of lacking on the 350. And I suspect the 455 is not going to be any better. But anyway, uh, we'll get set up here on a straightaway and we'll do uh, we'll do some hard pulls. I don't know. Should we, should we punch it right off the bat and see how that works or should we launch it? Or should we do both? Well, let's let's do both. All right, let's go ahead and do a punch. We're gonna do a pull here. I 
noticed that my RPMs didn't go up too high, so yeah, like, like I suspected. But um, as I suspected, the the RPMs, like I think my max RPM was 4,000 RPMs there at the top end. But uh, let's go ahead and get another one in. I'm just gonna do. Gonna do a dead stop pull. And launch it. A couple 30 to 50s and we should be set it doesn't take too many pools in these cars to seat everything up from what I understand this is my first time yeah I definitely don't get I don't get high in the RPM so that's something I'm gonna work on next all right let's go get some gas I'm about out All right, well, there you have it. Um, we got the piston ring seated in there, hopefully with those runs. Uh, it was really good to feel the engine for the first time. Uh, it's been pretty much sitting here in the garage, taken apart for five, six, seven months. So uh, I'm glad it's back together. We're running it. We're gonna do some more work on tuning it and getting the optimal performance out of it. I'm gonna look into that governor. Um, on the way back, it got all the way up to 210. So it's way too hot when your thermostat's 180. Uh, essentially at 200 degrees uh, your thermostats fully open and you, you're out of control there anything after that so you're I wasn't actually cooling the car there with with everything we had going so we'll revamp the cooling system I got to do that anyway because uh, once I hook the AC back up uh, check out the video of me revamping the system last year but once I hook that up it's gonna get even hotter so we're gonna try out one of those aluminum radiators and also uh, just so just to let you know um, we had problems with this carburetor when I first got this engine all lined out and I, I just want to do a shout out for Ken at Everyday Performance. Uh, he rebuilt our carb specifically for the camshaft in this car and it ran great. It's perfect. So I highly recommend him if you need work done. I'll put his information in the, in the comment section below. But anyway, stay tuned. We got some work to do on the interior. We got to do redo the seats, the vinyl top, the headliner. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but my tailpipes are really long. Those are the generic A-body uh, Flowmaster tailpipes. I'm going to cut those and weld in some down downturns. So that's all coming up next. If you want to stay tuned, hit that like and subscribe button, and you can follow along. Take care and goodbye.